This is the one missing element to your training. And if you're not including some sort of sequential, routine-based training with variability, you will be doomed to a life of F-word, falls, flops, and face plants. And if you're not using this kind of training, like katas from Power Batics, it's like sushi without wasabi. It's like Shaolin without the striking. It's like brownies without the almond milk. Then he knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> yes, we're publishing this on the private portion of our training. But Alexis, we're also publishing this publicly on the YouTube channel. However, everyone is unique. So as we go through this sequence together, you're gonna to see a lot of weak links exposed. That's just the natural order of physical training. But as we dive in, you're gonna see how this relates to all sorts of progression, including up to advanced skills all the way to just daily life. We also regularly modify, update, and upgrade all of our katas according to student needs to improve well-rounded training and to increase neuroplasticity and the acquisition of new movements and concepts so it never gets old but always stays fresh. And if you complete this kata and email us a link of you doing it, we'll send you a free t-shirt. So let's dive in. First, we're just moving the arms up and over to an X and then out to our horse stance. We want to have hips level with knees, toes pretty straight, arms straight across, back straight, head up. Now, don't be a form Nazi about things. Strive to do your best, but it doesn't need to be perfect. So don't sit there wasting all of that time. Keep moving forward with your training, okay? So we're here, bang, bang. Hands come down. Now watch this. So this is the next move. And this position here, a lot of people wonder, oh, why do I have hip pain? Oh, why can't I do a handstand? Well, look at the functionality of this position here. Just hands down, feet flat, and we can go into a frog stand. We can put the hands behind and go into a stalder, okay? But a lot of functionality of just the horse stance with hands down, all right? Next move after that, boom, feet together. So back to the beginning, arms around, bang, hands down, feet back, hooks up, turn over, and back around. Then jumping up to the stick. As we go from the beginning, arms up, around, Bang, hands down, feet push up, two, turn. Then this position here is just getting up off of the floor or it's like a calm vault where you go over a block, okay? Next move after that, a backflip. What? what? Just kidding, coaches. <laughs> Okay, so from the beginning, arms around, bang, hitting that stance, hands down, boom, push up, working the shoulder mobility, coming back around, then to the stick, and then from there, stepping back to a horse dance, then up to a crane, down to snake. Now, check the hip mobility. As we rotate into the other side, down to the snake. And then from here, we'll be set up to do our last move of this sequence together. And just remember, don't mistake videos for instruction, but if you are a student already, keep destroying those obstacles in your path and moving forward. Here we go. Up, around, bang, down. Punch up, turn, over, stick. Then back to horse step. Up, down, over to the other side. Diamond hands, side roll to the knee, and then back to attention. And I did want to mention again, I often tell the story about bicycle accident where a shoulder roll really saved me. And I've heard from a lot of other people talk about shoulder roll saving them as well. So all of these movements have very great importance 
for again, building up to higher level skills, just daily life, and avoiding those F words of false flops and face plants. So the execution of katas is also very important. We don't wanna get in the frame of mind of just moving very slowly and delicately like we live in bubble wrap. That's just not the case. Whenever we train, and I'm not saying to just fly ballistically through all of these skills as a beginner, but what we wanna do is build up to a level of control over our bodies and the addition of speed so that we can have power and we have ultimate control over our bodies and then you become a superhero in the Pacrimian universe. All right, so this is full speed and power. And one, slowly up to the X. When I say two, jump to the horse stance. Ready, two. And on three, down, hands down, following me. And then when I say go, jump back to plank. Go. Then a push up on go. Ready, go. Down, powerful look. Then the left hand comes away on go. Ready, go. And turning. Leg straight, keep pointing. And the right hand comes over. Ready, go. Then jump to stick with a palm both on the floor. Ready, go. Then the left leg and left arm come back to the horse stance on go. Ready, go. Then, when I say go, we're gonna slide that right leg up to crane, ready, go, sliding, and up and balancing, and then slowly down to the snake, and then shifting to the other side, and then diamond hands, and then getting ready for that shoulder side roll to the knee, ready, go. And then sliding back to it. See you in the next video and in training soon. Yo. <laughs>